So I've been getting a lot of questions recently about the topic of data science and data analytics. A lot of people have been asking me if it's a good fit for them or what the field is in general. The short answer is it definitely could be, but I think the more important question is why data science? So before we can answer that question, we first have to understand what data science is, especially recently where data science has been a buzzword across social media and a lot of people came up with their own definitions of what data science is or is not. Some people think it's about building predictive models. Other people think it's about crunching big data sets or building pretty dashboards. To me, data science is the creative art of crafting questions to answer business tasks. Once we have the questions listed out, then we can crunch big data sets, build pretty dashboards, build predictive models, or use complex data analysis techniques to solve the questions. So the technical part is actually secondary and it's only useful to answer the questions. Great, now that we understand what data science is, let's see if it's the right fit for you. So according to several respected data scientists or masters in the field, the skills you need to excel in this field include some coding skills, an understanding of mathematical and statistic concepts, and also domain knowledge. So in case you didn't know, domain knowledge means knowledge within a specific field or domain. Some examples of domains include finance and banking, healthcare, e-commerce, retail, marketing, advertising, business, it could be anything you want. The domain part is so broad that you have time to figure out the skill. So you don't have to worry about it too much when you're getting started, but you definitely wanna have an idea of what you wanna get into so you can expand your knowledge within the field. Me personally, I like a lot of these fields, but I'm currently focused more on the tech and finance side. So I spend a lot of time researching and staying up to date with these fields. However, the other two skills needed, the coding and you know mathematical and statistical side, they're pretty straightforward. What I mean by that is that there aren't really any loopholes around this. If you're not interested in statistics or coding or math, then this field is probably not the right one for you. However, I think there's a crucial part that's missing from the picture. I think curiosity is an essential skill every data scientist should have. In fact, I think it might just be the backbone of great data scientists. Think about it, curiosity helps us ask the right questions to answer the business tasks. It helps you challenge the status quo and push boundaries if needed. It helps you come up with creative and interesting questions that help you solve the problem or get to the root of the problem. And this can bring valuable insights to answer the business task. When I say this acts as a backbone of great data scientists, I mean that if you don't really have curiosity, you wouldn't have the eagerness or the, the, the desire in you to look out and stay up to date within the field of technology, what new libraries are out there, what new tools are out there, you know, new machine learning models, how to solve a problem more efficiently, the right questions to ask. Back to that domain knowledge part, you probably also wouldn't be up to date with all the new affairs or whatever that's happening within your field of interest. So this would ultimately put you at a disadvantage. If you don't love what you're doing, if you're not curious, if you're not interested, then there's no real point. Without curiosity, all the other skills pretty much are useless because they will become obsolete as time grows. Data science is a rapidly growing field and it's going to keep growing. If you're not willing to learn and continuously grow with the field, then you're going to be left behind. So if you're still here and you still think this is a good fit for you, congratulations. Congratulations. Here's what I would do if I was starting over again. Number one, I would start with projects. I personally think learning through projects is the most valuable thing you can do. Learning through projects helps you learn things quicker and also allows you to apply that knowledge and theory, you know, to solve real world problems. So there's really no downside in my opinion. But obviously you can't start projects if you have zero knowledge within the field. So here's what I would do. I would go on YouTube, Kaggle, and Coursera, and I would try to understand or get to know the fundamentals of data science and analytics better, even understand machine learning better, because that's one of the most rapidly growing fields right now. And I think this would put you at a great advantage. Now, once I think I have enough skills, I would dive right into capstone projects or case studies. So the approach I took was through the Google Data Analytics certification. I was able to get an overview of the field, understand the workflow of a data analyst. Also got a certification from a FANG company. So that's pretty cool. And I got a capstone project along with it. And this capstone project spiked my interest in the field even more. My project was about cycling data and was pretty interesting at the time. That project drove me to do more research within the field, spike my curiosity and do more projects. The second thing I would do is pick a domain, pick a field of interest and learn more about it. So I strongly recommend taking time when you decide what field you want to get into. This is because if you're not interested in the field you chose, you're going to lose your curiosity pretty quickly. So for example, if I picked a healthcare field and I wasn't too interested in healthcare, then I would have to work with healthcare data every single day and that would bore me out and eventually cause me to lose interest in the field altogether. So what I recommend is do research, read articles, research papers, watch YouTube videos, stay up to date with any field. If you like tech, then stay up to date with the tech field. If you like finances, then stay up to date with the finance field. The whole point here is to understand the field in and out. You want to know how the field was 10 years ago. You want to know how the field is right now. And you want to be able to have a sense of what the field will be in a few years. So you're able to better understand the business task when you eventually get in the field. Ask the right questions to help you solve that business task. And also present your findings in a meaningful manner to your audience who are also part of that field. And then step three is to repeat steps one and two over and over again. So what I would do is continuously improve my projects, increase the scale of my projects, the size, the type of projects I do, increase the difficulty, maybe introduce more difficult machine learning models, understand difficult concepts within uh, analysis techniques. This could also mean, you know, instead of doing projects, personal projects, go get an internship, become a freelancer, work on bigger things, more interesting things, despite your curiosity and continue to grow. Also, if you're interested, I have a video on how I secured my internship and my advice to you if you were looking for one right now. I would also continuously try to increase my understanding and knowledge within the field. Let's say I've read a couple articles or watched a couple videos about the field I'm interested in. What I would do next is read some books, find a mentor, essentially just do whatever you have to do so that you have the best understanding 
understanding of your field and you stay ahead of your competition. I want to emphasize that in no way was this meant to be easy or quick, but if you're able to stick it out and still enjoy it, I'm confident that you'll be successful in this field. Anyway, we've come to the end of this video. I personally think all the hype about data science has caused a lot of confusion about what the field really is. I hope this video is able to portray or reflect my vision of what data science is and help you decide if this is the right fit for you. If you managed to watch till the end and you decided that this is the right fit for you, I want to wish you all the best and I hope this channel can provide you some guidance during this challenging journey. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.